Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Martina. And for regular viewers, welcome back. So it may be a bit noisy, guys. So today I just want to come and show you again. We are in today's what? Um, May 30th, 2018. Um, is a buildup of the Sagasam seaweed again. This is area is close to where I live. This is East End. This is, um, let me see, close to police station that because last time I did the video it was um, long look on beef island long look long long bay beach sorry on beef island right I saw this build up from my bed from my bathroom bathroom window and I could see the extent of the mass from from where from my bed from my bed from my bathroom sorry I'm stumbling so I had to get a close-up to see this mass look at this look at this and what is scary for me is that I noticed this build up this sort of a build up of the cigar some seaweed um, last year, just before that was in a thing, I can't remember the month. I'll leave it on the top at the bottom part of the screen. What month I saw it, um, what month I did the video, and soon afterwards, we had we had a, a massive flood in Tortola, which never happened before. And then we had after that, we had the Hurricane Irma. So, you know, seeing this now, it has, has me a little kind of like tense and worried because we are soon to be approaching the hurricane season, you know. So, let me just turn around the camera so you can see a good look what's happening here. Okay, so here I am. Here I am. You can see there's a boat there that is, has sunk. Let me just go from the left. This is a mass. This is a big mass of the seaweed. And as it can't go any further, it will just build up here. I don't know if the government is going to do anything about it. Or maybe somebody privately will have to see about it. But it's very difficult to clean because as fast as you clean it, another build up keeps building up. I saw this happen um, on Beef Island towards Trellis Bay. Um, I saw some guys were cleaning up and the next day or two there's a build up again, you know. So it's difficult to maintain, to clean unless you have some sort of a machinery. And I don't think the government has the, the, the funds to invest in a machinery to do this cleanup on a regular basis you can see the birds there I mean, I'll go back for a little while for a second to show you the birds they are just they are happy because they're getting all the dead fish you know that may have settled in the area I just had to record this because I don't know it is happening it's getting to be worse to me it's getting to be worse and worse every year but this is mother nature right mother nature at her fullest best I would mention um, one benefit that I could say right now of this I got some seaweed I saw a video about it um, that a gentleman he I think he is in Barbados I think um, he harvests this, this the um, seaweed he dries it out dries out all the salt and everything it seems to be a timely process to me because of course this is from the salt water and um, you know you have to kind of wash out all the salt and everything what he does he wash out all the salt he dries it and use the um, that dry um, so I got some seaweed as a fertilizer for his plant. I mean, I heard it's very, very good, but the process of having it clean is a timely process. Okay, as you can see here, there's a pile up of galvanized and material and stuff. They, apparently what they are doing, what has been done, is like when they pick up any uh, when people dump their garbage after the hurricane, not really garbage, but um, debris like the galvanized and stuff, is being dumped here and, you know, it's very unsightly. This area um, is where they started to have the August festival in East End. Now they have this dump here. I don't know, I know there was a time where they used to like um, compress vehicles and stuff and, you know, make it like a small pack, you know. So I'm wondering if they're going to do that, but you have to have the necessary equipment. So, I mean, that, that's something that you can't really burn, can you, you know? So it's a concern for me, but hopefully sometime we don't need line, you know, they're going to do something about this. Um, just packing it up there and what they're going to do with it after, you know? Okay folks, okay, folks, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, click on the thumbs up button. Leave a comment for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Um, don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button. In doing so, you, you get a notification letting you know that I've uploaded a new video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.